Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Odella from Fly Odell. On today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this homemade churros with Italian hot chocolate. Please watch and learn how to prepare this. And this is good for merienda, good for snacks, and I assure you it is yummy. So please enjoy this video and let's have fun so let's start cooking so let's talk about the ingredients we need so two tablespoons of butter one cup of milk three eggs if it's small or two if it's large one cup of all-purpose flour one half teaspoon of salt and a piping bag and you can choose the tip that you want to use so in a heated pan just uh, add the milk and the butter and let it melt and after boiling just add in the flour and the salt and keep mixing churros is normally made with water but if you use milk it will be more flavorful and then the taste will be better just keep mixing until it looks like this so now this is the piping bag and the tip that I've chosen so this is how it should look like so while preparing this I have set aside the dough to cool it down at least 5 minutes and in a stand mixer this is the dough and uh, I am placing the egg one by one slowly at first it looks like it's not mixing well like this but one by one as you put on the egg slowly, the texture would be more softer like this. Now for those people who are first time bakers, just put a glass under the piping bag so it's more stable when you put in the dough inside. And I find it more easier to put everything in together inside the piping bag so once you filled up I just uh, placed half of it and then afterwards you just lift it from the side and then what you do is you just twist it on the upper portion and push everything inward towards the tip looks like this so I'm using sunflower oil in a heated pan and I'm putting in slowly the churros dough. I've used the scissor to cut it. You can use knife if you want. And I only place in three. This is my first time to do this. And make sure that the oil is not too hot, otherwise, it will burn quickly. I have placed the heat in low. And as you can see, I am turning it now to the other side. It's already brown in color. It took me 3 minutes to be able to cook this. But I am monitoring it to make sure it will not be burned or overcooked. So now, I am placing it in a plate with paper towel so in a plate I have placed granulated sugar with cinnamon so I'm rolling each churros on this mixture and it's recommended to do this while the churros is still hot so that it will stick to the churros the mixture Now let's prepare the Italian chocolate. 
we need 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, 2 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder, and we have 1 cup of milk, and we need chocolates. So I have chunks of chocolates here that I've taken from this box of available chocolate assortments that I have here at my house. Since it's quarantine now, I cannot go out to get chocolate chips and it's already late in the evening so this is what I've used so you can use whatever is available and according to your sweetness so in a heated pan add in the milk and let it boil and add in together the cornstarch and the cocoa powder with a little bit of milk and stir it together until it forms a sticky consistent texture or when everything is incorporated together like this and once the milk comes to a boil just add the cocoa and cornstarch mixture and mix it well after a few minutes then add in the chocolate chunks and keep mixing again just keep the heat in low to avoid burning the sauce and as it keeps boiling the mixture would be more thicker and as the mixture is boiling make sure to stir it and monitor to avoid burning the lower portion and voila, this is our hot Italian chocolate tip. And this is our finished product, our homemade churros with hot Italian chocolate dip. And it looks amazing. And I guarantee you, it also tastes amazing. Hopefully, you will try it out so you can be able to share it with your family, especially on this quarantine period where you are staying home with your family where it is more safer and it's so easy to make and uh, about the churros you can serve it hot with tea or coffee or as it is and your chocolate dip you can be able to adjust the level of sweetness according to your preference if you don't want it too sweet just uh, lessen the chunks of chocolates that you will put on the sauce when you're preparing it and so that's it hopefully you enjoyed cooking with me and that you have enjoyed this video so please for those who are new in our channel hopefully you will like it subscribe give me a thumbs up hit the bell for new updates and share and follow me on my instagram it's fly.odel double l and fly odel on my facebook and do take care everyone stay home stay safe be healthy and let's keep praying and see you again soon love you all take care bye and god bless so before i end this video i will be sharing to you what happened to me so it is first time for me to make these churros and it's a total fail the first time that I placed the dough and the oil because the setting of the heat was on medium and as I'm still putting the dough one by one look it's already burning so just to make sure that you don't do the same mistake that I did please make sure to put the heat in low only it's burned so to avoid doing this and wasting the dough kindly please make sure to put it in low okay